Home, home. Home. Home, home. Here I come with the camera. Well, we have a nice enough day today. Uh, it's not raining, I guess. <laughs> it's kind of cloudy, but we're going to go ahead and uh, see if we can light these burn piles off and, and get them going. Yeah, it's not supposed to rain till tonight, so let's see if we can get maybe at least a piece of them burned yeah. off. <laughs> so we have a bunch of uh, leftover scraps and junky pieces from, uh, from splitting our wood, so I think uh, we'll use some of that and see if we can get this thing going. Let's do it! Your turn. Your turn. Nosy cat. It's not very striking, is it? They might be a little damp they, from yeah, they're being, probably a little damp. We have our blow torch. Can we just, yeah, just blow up the end? <laughs> we'll put it, stick it in there, and then we'll hit it with the blow torch. Okay. Yeah. You know what else we have? If push comes to shove, we have our propane torch. Ooh. Woo! So many good ideas coming out of my mind right now. Of course, it's fire. Not that punk. You don't get up there, you punk. Oh, hey. Jasper, get, get out of there. Get, get down. Get, get down. your face burned off. Eh, maybe I'll burn, maybe not. They're dry. All right, burn pile is going. It's very, very wet. As you can see, we, we live in a swamp, so uh, so does the burn pile. Uh, so we're gonna pull out our secret weapon, which is leaf blower. And we'll get this thing going, and uh, we should be able to turbocharge some of these fires. Been there, done that. <laughs> <laughs> Made that mistake. I don't know if there's any gas in there. Probably should check that too. Yeah. A teeny bit of old gas. Wow. So this this is two years old. This is when Didi got stung by a bee two years ago. We haven't used it, we never drained it. Starts right up. I love steel.
that is definitely the ticket on a big nasty wet burn pile like that using a leaf blower uh, we've just been fighting kind of beating our head against the wall trying to get some of these uh, wet big I guess you'd call them a slash pile rather than a burn pile almost just from clearing the property around here and uh, man what a difference it makes uh, using that leaf blower to kind of turbocharge these fires and pump a ton more air up in there so we still have one big burn pile left to do that's definitely going to be the ticket uh, to get that thing up and rolling like this one is this burn pile you can kind of see from the front of the cabin when you look this way so it'll be really nice to have that done out of the way we'll have a big muddy mess from from running the tractor around here and pushing stuff in on the burn pile uh, but come this spring we'll plant a bunch of seed and, and kind of get things looking a little nice and green up through here in the trees I'm thinking there's some rain headed this way. Well, it started pouring on me, so uh, I think I'm gonna go in. <laughs> we'll see if that fire keep burning. This is what happens when you live in a swamp. <laughs> Still got a little, little burn going here. We'll try and get this thing restarted here. Um, I dug this out of the burn pile. Well, not like out of the middle of the burn pile, obviously, but we were burning heavy kind of right here last night. Um, and then the rain came and soaked the pile. Uh, but I dug this out today. It's clay from our uh, very clay soil. But um, it's it burned so hot that it's kind of like fired it. Pretty cool. And a river runs through it. I feel like that's the case with all of them. <laughs> Cat, try not to get muddy. Oh, you got Are you your gonna feet. go sit in the tractor, Oliver? You got your feet dirty, Ollie. Don't worry, I'll wipe them off on the tractor seat. <laughs> I'm not creepy at all. <laughs> Alright guys. Well, in a couple days, we have completely burnt... <laughs> in a couple days, we have completely burnt out. Well, almost completely burnt out this giant pile of stumps. We got a little bit left on it, um, but it should be finished up tonight. And uh, if there's any little scraps or things like that, we'll just kick them on down to the other burn pile. But for all intents and purposes, uh, we're done. Did you say intensive purposes or intense and purposes? Intensive. I think it's intense, intense and purposes. Intense and purposes. I think you're right. I don't know. But it could be an intensive could purpose be, yeah. if you were working on it intensively. <laughs> Sorry. Squirrel. Squirrel. Anyhow, um, I think that we are just about done with this thing. So that's exciting. It's been a big giant burn pile. What was this thing like 30, 40 foot around? And we were able to burn out in a couple days. It was like 100 feet tall. Yeah. No, it felt that way, but it wasn't literally. We were able to burn it out in a couple days using that leaf blower method and getting some of those big giant uh, stumps that we tugged out from around the property burning. So I'm uh, excited to have that done. We can start working on the other pile uh, that's down the hill and uh, get that one done next. So what do you think about the leaf blower method? 
Oh, it works really well. We couldn't get them going last year. It was just too wet. And we've used our leaf blower for burn piles before, but I don't know why it didn't occur to us last year to try it. Um, but yeah, it was the key to success, I would say. Yeah, because they were very wet again this year. Our burn season um, is narrower and narrow, narrower with all the fires that have been going on lately. And uh, we live in a swamp on top of it, as you can see from the property around us. So <laughs> trying to uh, do a, a wet burn pile in a swamp uh, sometimes can be a little fun, but leaf blower is the key for sure. Yep. Like, no, this clay is all, you can hear it. It's like all fired, just a little clay and rock. <laughs> 